Hello guys, hi. A few years ago, we did an impromptu trip to Ajman and we took a load of pictures and we found some really interesting stuff and, and a lot of people really enjoyed that little trip so we've decided to do another one. Um, we found the place, we're here now and straight away there's a classic stingray just sitting over there and a fox body mustang over there so uh, we're going to have a look around and we'll try and bring you some interesting and cool stuff. What are you hoping to find? Um, Not one a DeLorean. <laughs> we found one DeLorean. Last time we were here we found an Esprit. It was pretty cool. Oh, but never mind. Basically, whatever no, 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 amazing... No. That was beyond help. I was not happy about that. Well, who knows? This is Ajman. Everything that gets abandoned ends up somehow in Ajman. So I think the weirdest things we can possibly find, old ATs, Nissan Zs, you know, abandoned muscle cars, sky's the limit. Speed car. We found a speed car last time from all yeah. the autodrome speed cars, NASCAR. That was once a I've NASCAR. Yeah. Great. So let's have a look. Let's start walking Let's around. have a look. Well, I'll drive, I think. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Do you want to drive? Do you want to walk? I think I'll drive for a bit until we can't, you know. It's right there. The car's literally right there. Get off your fanny. Let's just go and have a look at it. <laughs> Alright, then let's have a look at this Stingray. Next. So straight away, we've looked what we found. We found an MR2 shell. Look at this. The engine's gone. Everything's gone. It used to be right-hand drive, but everything's been taken out of it. But this was an MR2. So beautiful. Uh, it well, body it, was, on it. it was beautiful when it had a skin on it, but this one doesn't. But uh, they were nice little cars. How many of you ever owned these cars? Let us know. Because these are quite rare, quite unusual. Man, that is such a mess. Right hand drive, clearly a five speed. Uh, there is indeed. And that's where the engine went, which is no longer there. So that's gone. Man. What were they into this? 2.2s, basically yeah. engines from the Camry, and a two litre turbo, which made about 200 horsepower in 1991. Yeah, you know, you could stick a drivetrain in here, you know, it'd be back up and running in no time, you know. A bit I mean, the metal looks point. pretty solid. Good sound? Not there too much rust. We got a um, Stingray over there, looking yeah. a bit sad. but. Mostly intact though. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, I don't know what the mechanicals are like on that, but I think the bodywork is intact on that car. Some so V8 of some bad. description. We've got a Mercedes CLK behind us. We've got this amazing Chevy something there. Uh, <laughs> it's a Chevy. I don't know why that's relevant, but apparently it's relevant. We've got a BMW here, which has got, which is not an Alpina, but it's got Alpina wheels on it. How do you know it's not an Alpina? Well, it hasn't got the stripes. <laughs> why did they took the stripes off? There's no stripes on this one. This is not an Al I'm pretty sure it's not Alpina. Were they manuals? No, this is an automatic. What was the Alpina for those of you who are wondering what Alpina was? It's basically Alpina is like a, a performance modification, unofficial, semi sort of semi official. And they still, they, what, what, what do you mean was? It still is, it exists, and uh, you can buy you them. You can actually today. buy them through AGMC, yeah, the local you can dealer. Buy them, yeah. And they're fantastic cars, and sometimes uh, they're mo more expensive than the regular M cars, for example, an equivalent M car, but uh, quite charismatic, very, Love very torquey. But these wheels could be worth something if they're genuine LP. Are you just trying to pinch there, them? Well, you never know. But this one, this one's not registered. But this one is registered over here, the Buick. This is an old, well, by the... If you are the owner, get in touch I'm, with us. It looks I'm, amazing. I'm going to sound really knowledgeable and say this is a 1956 Buick. But I'm not knowledgeable because it says so right there. 1956 Buick Special. That's what that is. It is really quite pretty. So, um, that's pretty awesome. So... I think it's time to drive a bit further in and see what I mean. There's a, there's, look, there's a bit of a half car over there. What do they call that? Half cuts or whatever. Half cuts? Yeah. That's a tree. No, not the tree. Next to the tree. <laughs> is that a Civic EP3? No, that's a Jazz. This is just the wasteland of cars. It is. And I think there's more stuff to be seen. So let's go a bit further in, I think. So we found another 56 Buick and actually this is a Buick only in name because this is really just the body like the other one but it appears to be on water if my aged cameraman can keep up this is a modern truck chassis I think I imagine some sort of GM chassis I hear it might be a C10 I could be wrong who told you that I don't know it's little because, birdie yeah but it looks like a modern truck chassis I can see some probably old man new shots I want to look around this yeah it's quite so basically it's surface a rust yeah, a little bit of corrosion might have some trouble with us, Jill. <laughs> just a tad. But it's a modern chassis. It looks pretty mean, this. That looks pretty cool. I think the look they were going for was a gasser. You know what the gassers are? Those sort of 50s cars basically on off-road type trucks. They use them for drag racing. So big V8s and really small wheels. It's a very particular kind of look and they're very cool. But if you don't look after them, they kind of end up like this. I mean, there's a little bit of rust. A little bit. Just a little that's bit. all right. A bit of filler. A bit of filler. That'll be all right. About six gallons of filler. No, that one actually, that's fine. That's not too bad. But the one on the bonnet, that that's that would be the six gallons because that you just keep putting it through. I tell you what, though, pretty thing. Pretty it's thing. Quite cool. Yeah, I do like this. So this bit here, so that's what I thought about. You see, you just put filler in there, and then you just keep filling it and filling it. 
I love it. Look at this ornament, this Buick ornament. That's very cool. I mean, it actually looks yeah. like a plane because this car was created in the jet age. Yeah. So jet age style ornament. I mean, this is actually worth money. This bit right here, because these are hard to find trim pieces. If you took the whole car apart, all the chrome bits, you probably have a bit of money. Oh well. The reality is though that this thing is probably very dead, because it would take a fair bit of money that nobody's going to spend anymore, which is a real shame. Of course, I would just say leave it alone. Why put it on a gas or chassis to start with? But I reckon start it up, turn it into a rat rod. This is good to go, man. You know what? This would be give the it a wash. Give it a wash. It's a rat rod. Let's do it. All right, All right let's, let's go, let's go see what we can find. a place called Red Line Workshop over there. And already straight away we found some interesting stuff. Check this thing out. You might think, oh, it's just a GMC Blazer. That's a Typhoon, that. It's been repainted a few times. I don't know what all this stuff is peeling off of it. Look at it. It's pink, green, whatever it's been. But this poor thing, that used to be a Typhoon, which is a very special car. Look it up. Uh, another but GMC. Faster than a Ferrari in the 1990s. It was a heck of a thing. Come around here because I want to show you one, something that I would really like to have. It's good colors as well. White and blue. Mustang, fastback. And reasonably intact. Rest of mod, we reckon. Manual gearbox. Very nice. Sits alright, looks okay. A bit of clean up, it'll be alright, won't it? Nice Cadillac CTSV over there actually. Who am I kidding? Yeah, check this out. That's a bit of a beast there. Oh, I do love this Mustang. Look at it. Something is some, somebody had something to do with this. This looks like I just need a bit of washing. It's back on the road, I think. Yeah. Got a nice bumper on it. I like the style of this aftermarket bumper. I want you to have a look over there. In fact, let's, let's cross the road if we can without getting killed. I'm looking at the Jaguar S-Type over there, but this area really is all about trucks, as you can see from that mad Chevy Raptor Ford SVT over there an old Chevy C10 over here check this out and if you want to see more trucks come over here how odd is this truck remember who remembers this one the only pickup truck that was also a convertible power <laughs> retractable hardtop the power retractable hardtop it was a Chevrolet SSR. Oh, SSR SSR amazing amazing it had a, uh, actually LS1 engine if I want LS3s if I'm going to there, SVT over there, Ford, uh, and over here we've got some interesting things. Uh, this is the Alcamino there. Check it out. That is actually quite beautiful. 396 yeah, nice, Chevy yeah. engine. And we've been in the back of this place called Red Line Workshop. They're doing a bit of restoration work. And we've been into the back. Uh, it's too dark to film in there, but I've seen a Silver Shadow and a Chevy Nova SS. Plus, if you like the sports cars, check out the RX-7. What a wankel uh, engine car. Oh. That's, sorry. Language teacher. <laughs> this is cute. Check this out. That is just so cute. Just look at the glass area now. You will never feel close to oh, What is that, it, Shazad? It's a Ford it's Bronco. Look. It says so right there. Bronco. But look at it. Steel, it's amazing. Steel. Look at the space. Look at the space. You're impossible it's to It's a manual in there. No, it? it's an automatic. Book manual. No, no, it's not book manual. It's a workshop manual. Oh, okay. But, there's something else over here in the corner that a friend of ours just basically lost all control of his emotions. Potentially his bowels as well. Over there. I'm trying to Cyclone. get that. Oh wow, GM Cyclone. Twin turbo, uh, turbo V6 as we call it. It was actually the GNX engine. Single turbo V6. 4.3 V6. Mitsubishi turbos. 296 brake horsepower, 4.3. And uh, 0 to 100. Four seconds. Four seconds? It must be low fours. I mean, that's like yeah, no, it way five, it five. Well, it must be about five. Which but back then was supercar territory. It's basically as fast as a Ferrari 348 off the time. Yeah, yeah. And yeah, right. turboed up, it would basically do 355 numbers. Ferrari 355. So it was the GM car that could actually hang with serious performance. Remember the Buick GNX? Yeah. This is basically the same motor but in a truck. So I'll tell you what this is. What this is, is that it's the car that you use to carry the parts for your Ferrari 348, as Noel Evden would know. Yeah. When it breaks down, this is the only car that keeps up with it and you can keep all the parts in the back. Well, everything keeps up with it. It's broken down. <laughs> all right, well, let's, let's press on. some more stuff. Yeah. Look at this. Look what I found. Legend. This is the original Honda Legend V6. These are amazing. These were a game changer for Honda. This is basically what started the Acura brand and Honda's entry into luxury arms. This is the car that made Mercedes sit up and go, oh, oh my God, the Japanese do know how to do luxury cars. Amazing engineering, brilliant handling, fantastic car, very quiet, very refined. The precursor to the LS400 from Lexus. 
this is the car that started off for the Japanese as far as luxury and upmarket cars were concerned. I love this thing. I'd love to see an, a good version of this. I'll tell you what, if this was nice, I'd consider getting this. Press on, maybe you'll find some more stuff. Sorry, I have to interject. This is an old piece of crap and Shazad is absolutely mad. I mean, look at this thing. It's that awesome. It's is, awesome. I it's love it. It's an old, dead, one. tired, boring You Honda tell us, box. you tell us how many legend friends are there and especially the Mark II. I, I nearly bought a Mark II coupe once in the UK. Absolutely loved it. So you, were you taking it to the skip to get it thrown away? Based on the... Mercedes, no, Mercedes no, frightened of this old piece of junk. Oh, look it up. Look it up. Check with LJK set right. You can find him. He's dead now. Dead somewhere. <laughs> He's but dead now. Check with him. He'll know. Uh, let's press on. Let's press on. I love these things. Check it out. C4 Corvette. It still looks beautiful even in this miserable state that it's in. But it's a black. You can imagine this thing polished up. Pure black. What a beautiful shape. What a fantastic silhouette these cars were. This car is pretty much all here. But I guess it's uh, going to need more than a little bit of work. Oh well. This place is kind of weird because you get excited to see these cars, but you also get kind of sad because really, you know, should it be like that? Should it really be ending up like that? It's a bit, you know. Oh well, let's press on. I'll go get some tissues. What Matthias? Say my name. Shazad? <laughs> Shazad? I was going for Heisenberg because we are standing here next to a Pontiac Aztec. I don't think it's in green, although it might be, I don't know. Yeah. But this is. I think it's safe to say was probably the second ugliest car ever conceived, built and put into production. Who could tell me what the first one was? There's no prize, but uh, you'll get my, uh, you won't get respect either actually. <laughs> but there you go. So we've decided to end our little tour around Ajman's, what should we call this? Burial site of cars? <laughs> Try not to step you in know, a... End of dreams, cheese. end of dreams, end of fantasies. We're right next to, standing next to a, um, a freshly pissed upon, not by one of us, I should add, a freshly pissed upon uh, Aztec will be the end of our tour here of Ajman. Thank you so much for joining us. Uh, I hope you saw something that you found interesting. I gotta say, you guys have got to tell us what's going on because last time we were here, we did find a lot of interesting little cars. He's making patterns. So somebody, one of the crew is making shadows. I don't know what he's trying to do. He's putting me off. What I was going to say is that last time we were here, we found a lot of interesting older cars and we found a lot less of this a lot less of them this time and I wonder if some of you guys have been out here and then pinched some of them so the only uh, interesting cars we could find we talked about we showed you earlier and if you really like your Breaking Bad then uh, you, there's a nice tech here to be rescued so thanks a lot for watching uh, follow us on all the usual channels Facebook, Instagram everything Motoring Middle East thanks so much for watching from me and from him to Sean behind the camera say bye him to Sean goodbye there you go <laughs> let's go away in the Tahoe let's go in now let me talk. a proper okay. car this shot please